about JWoo Denver. Here you go, number 10. If you're ever constipated, you just eat at the dining hall and you'll be totally okay after that. Is that have you guys ever been constipated that you go to the dining hall and it's like, ah, running shit's everywhere! It's a twister! It's a twister! Antium! Antium! It's a tornado of poopies! Help me! I'm just trying to get one poop drink in for the night, guys. You can all wear different socks. How about this one? If you're ever bored, guys, number nine, think about Jay Wood, never. If you're ever bored, man, there's always fun trips to King Super. Or Chipotle. Or King Super Chipotle. A new kind of store. Where burritos are the size of your face. Or, or, or Brady's legs. He's still here. No Brady left to work out his legs. I've been neglecting my calves for too long. I've been cheating on my calves with my shoulder muscles. I must stop. How about the number eight thing about Jay Woo is I'm going to list out a few alums that have gone to your school. If you like them, you can cheer for them. If you don't know who they are, you can just swing them over, yell next, whatever you want to do. So, uh, for example, the actual former mayor of a town called Gun Barrel City, Texas, went to Jay Wu. <laughs> okay, bye. How about this? For MMA fighter Brennan Ward went to Jay Wu. No, yeah. Celebrity chef Elliot Graham went to Jay Wu. <laughs> okay. And every other celebrity chef went to Jay Wu. about Jay Wu. How about your basketball team? No? Okay, bye. Your volleyball team? Oh, wait, okay, there we go. Your lacrosse team? Yeah! Oh, the guy's a tank. He's just him by himself, but he has the strength of ten men. Because I am big. Yes. Or the, the, mag the Mage's Guild. The Mage's Guild, guys! No? Are, they going, are you going to resume your Mage's Guild material? The Mage's Guild is late for your latest D&D show-off. Okay, I will win them back. Okay, number seven thing about Jay Wu. Oh, I already did that. Number six thing about Jay Wu. Because if you can find a parking space here, you know it's going to be a good day. Yes. Do you guys get a lot of tickets here on campus? So they write you like thirty dollar tickets or something. How much are the tickets? Fifteen dollar tickets. Do you ever catch them in the act of writing you a ticket? Do they ever? Oh, that sucks even worse. You know, I think you guys should fight back. Here's what you should do: if you catch them in the act, break out a piece of paper, you write them a ticket back. That means you write them back a more expensive ticket. You're like fifteen dollar ticket. Fuck that. Here's an eighty dollar ticket. I made a profit, bitch. Yes. Called being an econ major. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Otherwise, you're parking in the booties. Or in Egypt, or whatever the hell you call it, faraway parking areas. But it's number four thing about, about J Wu is if you ever walk down Colfax, you will know right away that college was the right decision. <laughs> But thank you for the compliment. I am worth fifty dollars. So thank you. That was really cute. <laughs> Number three thing about Jay Wu is if because if anyone does anything stupid, everyone else finds out about it really quickly. The beauty of a small campus. Like, did you hear about Dakota? He was walking down Colfax. Stabbed the meth head. He just stabbed the meth head right then and there. He's like, I just felt like stabbing. Did you hear about Brittany? Yeah, she was walking down the street in Colfax. She took the seventy dollars. It was weird. It was stupid. But she took the seventy. Yeah, she took the money first and then she ran. So I guess there was no harm, no foul. <laughs> you hear about him? anything else? Have you been doing anything stupid, Kendra? You've been pretty much behaving yourself so far. Good. Besides falling down the stairs, have you been okay? Not doing no stupid shit. Okay, good. Just checking. My stupid chat. Number two thing about Jay Wu, you are not the Art Institute of Denver. Woo! You are better than that. 
Guys, I actually, I skipped number five, and I apologize for that. Here's number five. If you run into anyone you don't like, you get them drunk, you make them a culinary student, you'll never see them again. I'm like, she sucks. Go cook. Bye. Or how about this? If your major ever gets too hard, you can always switch to communications. Pastries? Pastries? Anyone? Pastry? Major? No? Is that you? Like, is that an easy major or no? What's the easiest major here? <laughs> Culinary arts. <laughs> it's the easiest at the same time. I'm so confused. Well, how about this? Number one thing about J. Woo Denver. Your football team never loses, guys. They never lose! Good luck for them! They're not ranked number one, they're ranked number zero. That is higher than one, guys. Alright, Chris, we're good with that.